If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to Courtside Financial, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below as your engagement really does go a long way in helping out our channel. Today, we'll be talking about Apple's brand new Vision Pro headset, and we'll also be talking about Neo releasing their earnings report pretty soon here. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So just yesterday, Apple made waves at the Worldwide Developer Conference when they announced their Vision Pro headset. This innovative device marked a significant shift for Apple beyond the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. The Vision Pro has the potential to revolutionize the tech landscape by combining virtual reality, augmented reality, and spatial computing into a single device. However, the hefty price tag of just about $3,500 for the Vision Pro initially drew mixed reactions from the audience. While some were excited about its capabilities, others expressed concerns about affordability and practicality. Apple acknowledged the need to address these concerns by improving cellular connectivity, battery life, and user comfort in the coming years. The true value of the Vision Pro lies in its ability to replace traditional devices like phones and computers. Apple aims to create a device that can communicate better than an iPhone, handle web browsing and productivity tasks more seamlessly than a Mac, and offer an immersive entertainment experience surpassing that of an iPad. As the device evolves, it has the potential to become a true all-in-one solution. However, the widespread adoption may take time. The Vision Pro's interface, which relies on hand, eye, and voice interactions, presents a learning curve for users accustomed to traditional devices. Overcoming this hurdle and making the Vision Pro accessible to a broader audience will be crucial for its long-term success. Meanwhile, shifting our focus to Neo with their first quarter earnings report around the corner, anticipation is running high for the Chinese electric vehicle maker. Neo's revenue for the March quarter is expected to reach $1.69 billion, surpassing their own projections and marking an 8% increase compared to the previous year. However, the market predicts a wider loss of $0.22 cents per share, up from $0.18 cents, uh, per share as the company continues to face margin pressure. Despite the potential increase in losses, NEO delivered 31,041 EVs during the quarter, showcasing a 20.5% growth from the same period last year. While falling within the lower end of their delivery target range, NEO's consistent growth demonstrates their commitment to the EV market, in my opinion. Neo's chief financial officer, Wee Fang, has expressed confidence in the company's future prospects. With plans to break even at the group level by 2024, Neo aims to achieve this through robust revenue growth and tighter spending. Their goal of doubling annual sales to 250,000 units highlights their determination to establish long-term profitability. However, even though Neo is very ambitious and has set pretty ambitious goals and made them very public, I don't think that this earnings report is going to be pretty, but at least their sales is moving in the right direction when we zoom out. Even if it's moving slowly and lagging behind its peers, such as Xpong or Li Auto, both Apple's Vision Pro and Neo's um, Q1 earnings report coming out soon offer some good insights into the technology sector and the automotive sector. As Apple continues to refine the Vision Pro, we eagerly await its evolution into an indispensable device. Neo's first quarter earnings report will provide critical insights into their financials, and while it appears that it's going to be negative and the losses are going to widen, their strategic focus on revenue expansion and all the opportunity ahead provides hope for investors. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you found this news exciting. If you did, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, why not even join the free courtside financial discord? But anyways, I thank you guys so graciously for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.